Hi, I'm Danny Murphy. And I'm Evan Real. And I'm Jen Fessler, and this is Housewife Hot Takes. Jen, we are so excited you are here all the time, every week, especially because we know you're a musical theater girl. Yes. And how are we feeling about the potential of a Sutton Foster Hugh Jackman romance? So when I first saw that, I just kept thinking for some reason, why is Hugh Jackman with Sutton Strack? I couldn't like. <laughs> Same. No, I was like trying to put the pieces together. How does that happen? Which was I would single? Love that. I, would I know. Love that. yeah, that's what good. I thought. But then I, we were driving here, and I passed the billboard. Apparently, Sutton is a very big Broadway star, yeah. and everything started. What is she in the Music Man? She was in the Music Man. She's like one Tony. Right she's now, been she's around in, the, right. Yeah, the music, yeah. Yes. So I guess I'm not actually that much of a Broadway aficionado. <laughs> Having said that, of course. Well, first of all, wait. I was so upset that he got divorced from that lovely woman. What was her name? Deb? Deb. Deb from Down Under. Deb yeah. from Down Under. I love Deb them from together. Deb Down Under, always with an updo. She always. And she was updo. also not like a glamzon. Well, she looked have like Have you seen someone... her updo? No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> but I know. Fair. She was very down to earth. It felt like, it, right, it yeah. felt like. It felt real. Yes. Yeah. So I don't know this Sutton person. I should know her, but she is on Broadway, so clearly she is talented. And, and something to bond I think over. she lives in yes. Jersey, so maybe you'll yes. be seeing Hugh around. I mean, that would be, that's the dream, because there is no one more talented. I mean, there's Evan, there's Danny, <laughs> and then there's Hugh Jackman. Well, then there's Mariah. Then there is Mariah. Yes, Mariah Carey and Nick Cannon, RIP to their marriage. I almost kind of forgot that they were married, but Nick reminded us because he had things to say about the marriage. Basically, he said that Mariah was the alpha in the relationship and that he had to carry a diaper bag. He had to sort of play second fiddle to Mariah. I mean, okay, I'm willing to carry that diaper bag. <laughs> I am ready to take his place. Yes. I don't know. Is, that, is, that, is he complaining? Because I would happily carry around Mariah his diaper bag. I know that he is his own person. He does his own thing. He's a A father host. of 12. He, but that's the thing with him. He's a, we don't know. I, a deep, is he a deep, a rapper? They he, said he has been a article. rapper. He has been a rapper. They said, I haven't seen him rap, but I, yeah. So he's doing a lot of things. Clearly he's doing a lot of, lot of things. He's doing the nasty all over the place, <laughs> but good for him. God bless him. More power to him. But he's busy guy. Yeah. Yeah, you know? Well, maybe that's it. He was like, I'm too busy to hold a diaper bag. But it's the thing, it's like, he's not holding a, a diaper bag for Mariah for fun. It's for his kids, too, which is the... Look at know. that. Couldn't you be a little shady there? Yeah, but it's I like... I like it. It's true. You know, He's busy. He's, he's busy. He, he's... Correct. Correct. Wait, let me do this one. Ready? Please. But you know who is not busy? Look uh, at that trend. Oh! That was good. That was yes. really good. Yes. Blake Lively. Because Blake wasn't doing the celebrity thing where it's like... <sighs> Do you know who I am? Yes. She was just waiting. She was waiting. And even and that got recognition. The fact that this bitch was willing to wait became like a headline. How nasty do you have to be for that to become a headline? Well, as nasty as the girl who went viral for being nasty to a bunch of reporters and a bunch of press interviews and for also hawking her hairline during the press tour for I a know. film about domestic violence. And that it wasn't really a get let's get pink and, and yeah. right. It was yeah. more of a serious topic. I know mm -hmm. all of that, so maybe she is on. Let's I don't know. Time Let's out? guess. She's on best behavior. Yes, because uh -huh. I would love, because I feel the Blake from two years ago would, wanted to come out so badly, like stomping her foot, being like, let me get a man. No, let me. I don't even need to get a manager. I'm getting the restaurant, like group owner on the phone. But she had to be like, oh my God. Yeah, guess what? She's been humbled. I mm. love it. May she stay humbled. When I saw the name of this facial, gave me pause. Oh, it got me excited. It, it, okay. Hold yeah. the baby bag. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, Excuse me? Yeah. Yeah, a sperm facial. That doesn't excite you? No. No. It doesn't, Evan, you deviant. Well, I mean, I had something, not a sperm facial. I had something way more um, invasive. I like invasive cosmetic procedures. Ooh. I like to get put under. I like to be flattened and then have <laughs> things like happen to me. So now you're asking me if I would have sperm on my face? Obviously, the answer is yes. Yeah. Anything to look. I am a big proponent of lasers. So, I'll, but I will say, if anybody's interested, you are down for the count for a week. Boom, which I personally love. Yeah. Like that, I don't have to make up an excuse to not get out of bed. Well, Something. Was, if, yes. If you're down for the count, we can get our CO2 lasers and then watch Sex in the City, like Megan Thee Stallion. She just <laughs> got into it and she had thoughts and feelings to share about it. What did you have think? Have you ever seen anything that great? I loved it. It's that so was good. Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy I, Fallon. One of the Jimmys. One, one of the, the Jimmys. Oh my but God, her... she was so <laughs> funny when she was like, she was like, well, first of all, she loved Samantha. She did, That yes. was her, that mm -hmm. was the one that she sort of felt like mm -hmm. she identified with the most, which me, especially in my 20s. I was a oh. huge hoe. Oh. <laughs> Not that she was a hoe, she <laughs> owned it. Were you like Samantha style hoe? 
Um, I don't think I enjoyed it as much as she did being Because she has, she, like, she's in the driver's seat for all yes, the hoeing. Yes, yeah. I don't think it was that. And then she's, like, talked about, um... Carrie's like sicko us. behavior. Like, I calling Carrie a sicko, sicko, doing her sicko little things. That was and that the is, that's best, because like, it's true. Carrie was I kind of a sicko. It took me years to realize it. Yeah. Really, it took me years to realize that, like, she was the bad friend. Mm. I don't think they meant for that to happen. I don't think that was what they were really putting out there, no. but that's what it turned out mm. to be. What about if you guys, if we were gonna talk about the guys? Ooh. I'm an Aiden guy. I like oh, Aiden. You are an Aiden guy. Just because I think he's so hot. You are an Aiden guy. You're mm. Not only the hotness, is the sweetness. Uh, yeah, he's so sweet. Yes. 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 I love Aiden, but I do like Mr. Big too. But do you know the thing is, car and emotionally but Miss, Mr. Big looks just like my grandpa. So that's like unfortunate. Like my grandpa well, is he like- he could be mm. the age of your grandpa. Uh, so, <laughs> I mean, that definitely makes sense. Actually, I, I used to live in a building where Mr. Big would come and have a little. You talking about Chris Noth? Yeah. Oh. Chris Noth. Yeah. He was he was hooking know. up with a girl in my building, oh. and so I'd always see him like coming to the lobby, and I'd be like, hey, You'd always see him come. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Did you see the facial? The facial? No, but, okay. Wait. Who is your final? Who is your man? Who is your man? Okay. My man is um, Harry. And uh. wait, let me tell you why. Well, first of all, he looks like Jeff Bezos. <laughs> okay. In the best way, yeah. I think Harry's hot. I don't mean that because he's bald and on the shorter side, but I didn't mean Ooh, it. I mean it. That, in, that's your yes. type. And a lawyer. And and good and sweet and sexy and confident. I loved Harry. That's my type. They were the best relationship on that show. And they were the best. They were like the only good relationship <laughs> on that show.